All right, hi everybody, welcome back. We have got another match for you. The Dragon Feeny versus Fuzziness. Getting ready to start here any moment. And we already saw Feeny with some clutch skills. We already saw Fuzziness with some clutch skills earlier. So let's see how they match up. Just waiting for the countdown. And we're off. <laughs> All right, so Feeny with a 40 second level and fuzziness with a snow maze. Oh no. So, once again, this might be good for Feeny to have a short, easy level right at the start. We saw in the last round how that gave her a little bit of an advantage going forward just to be able to get a clear quickly. Fuzziness needs to figure out what he wants to do here. He needs to get that bomb out of the cannon because he needs the P-switch from inside those cement blocks. Ooh, but be careful. Don't blow yourself up in the process. Nice play, throwing it up right, getting the explosion to happen in midair. Looks like Fuzziness wants to get this turtle moving in here. He doesn't want to go into that area, but if he can get that turtle moving, he can have it flip the switch and it'll allow him to pass through those on-off blocks. He's got to be really careful because he doesn't want to cross that one way because he'll be trapped in there forever. Forever. And Feeny now at the goal. Nice job, Feeny. And a quick level for a quick clear right at the beginning. That's really, really good work. Getting through kind of a forced auto-scroller. And getting some extra lives in the process, too. So 1-0 for Feeny right now. But Fuzziness, what's he got in Yoshi's mouth? The P-Switch, exactly what he needed. Way to bring that P-Switch. Fuzziness answering right back with a clear of his own. Oh, good. Dragon Feeny's got a level called Thing. All right. There are some things here for sure, but it's a one screen. Now, this would be something... Something to consider committing to, even if it's going to take a couple of lives, because you might actually just be able to get right out of there, no problem. Easy. And with the, with that casual Fiend Shrug going up by another clear, two to one in Dragon Feeny's favor. Oh no, Fuzziness has got one screen puzzle patience. This is not what we want to have here. We got to go quick. We got 15 minutes. We got places to be. Patience is not in the speedrunning book of lore. Ah, this is Feeny has got one of these quiz levels. And based on how that cannon is moving, yeah, she looks at how the cannon is moving and then has to look at the three Koopas up there and figure out which one it is. And that's going to tell her which of the three drops to go down. So, she, yeah, she has to figure out who is making these jumps. It's actually kind of a clever quiz. You see a lot of things like that, a quiz about sound effects or something like that. These kind of pick a pick a path quiz levels. Feeny with the cosmic brain right now. Meanwhile, Fuzziness is trying to get out of this weird ghost house. Yeah, Fuzziness also opting for the classic strat of just going across the thwomps and not going underneath them. It's way safer. And with a shrug, he has now tied it up. 2-2. Two, two. This is also a pretty good level for Feeny to maybe stick with because if she gets it wrong, she can just remember what the answer was and go back and do it again. But she's really having a tough time at the end here which for some reason contains a random amount of difficulty. Like, hey, there's been this nice quiz. You know, we give you all the answers. You kind of use your brain and get through. Oh, yeah, at the end, you are going to die. Like, come on, level maker. She's got to navigate through these fire bars and then over the chain chomp and then also down the vine while not getting hit by any of the fire bars. <laughs> Why? But she gets it. All right. Dragon Feeny up three to two. Fuzziness trying to watch out for Bowser. <laughs> I love how Bowser is just pursuing him right now. Like there's there's no one block gap that Bowser can't land in order to shoot Toad with fire. Oh no, the chain jump in the box too. 
Look out, Fuzziness. Fuzziness trying to find an opening right now. The Bullet Bills are letting him get up a little bit. He gets it. Nice job. Good dodge. Oh, no. He needs... Yeah, he needs that Fire Flower right now. That Boom Boom was coming for him. Feeny is uh, making her way through this little one-way maze. It can be kind of confusing to find your way through, but not all that difficult. Oh, and the Icicles are going to kill Bowser. She just needs to stay above there and keep causing them to fall. Looks like the clear condition requires her to kill this kill this browser here. Fuzziness getting a clear though. He clears his ice level three to three. But Feeny answers right back with another one. <laughs> Feeny making her way downtown. Marioing fast. Why are there no speedrun levels called making my way downtown? I mean, come on. Now, fuzziness is in a dangerous spot here. Rising lava is instant kill and often demands a little bit more precision than your average level. Uh, also, no power-up can save you from it. So he's going to have to be really careful here as he navigates through. That checkpoint is some good security, though. It's a bad song. You got me there. <laughs> you got me. You foiled my plan. You have uncovered my nefarious attempts at getting people to name levels after a bad song. You got me. You got me. Fuzziness, though. He's got that axe. Tying it up four to four while Feeny is trying to figure out what to do here. Wants to reach the goal without touching the ground, but maybe didn't trust herself to get that bounce combo. Let's go. 286 coins need grabbed here. Yeah, with, a, with an almost two minute world record, Feeny probably rightly skips that. Looks like fuzziness here. Doesn't know what's going on. Leap of faith, though. It almost looks he just needs to jump really close to the edge. Some of these can just be like a strange pixel jump right on the edge. It's odd how just by using the blocks and spacing, you can actually come up with a jump that only works at the pixel level. Fuzziness now needs a little bit of trust. Going through these on-off switch speedrun levels, uh, sometimes you just have no idea, and it looks like you're jumping right into open air, and then bam, you get some on-off blocks coming down to save you. So uh, a little bit of trust is required here. Feeny having to get away from this poison, poison lava parkour. Not a speedrun level, so she can't afford to hang out and wait a little bit. Hopefully she notices this. Yeah, Feeny rightly choosing to just hang out. Oh, and by taking the Thwomp ride while it was in the lava there, the Thwomp actually moves a little bit slower while it's going through that poison. And by taking the Thwomp while it was in the poison, she actually made that ride a little bit easier for herself because the Thwomp would be moving slower. It's little strats like that and little bits of knowledge about Mario Maker and the way all these things work that can really, really help you win levels, as Feeny expertly demonstrates. Six minutes to go, though. A very close race, and Fuzziness making good progress on this super awkward speedrun level. chooses to skip it. Ah, another level called Speed Run. Feeny has the ability now to be a little bit conservative. She can choose to kind of skip things and pick something really good. She has that one clear on fuzziness. And while she might not actually know that at this time, 
with five minutes to go and up by five, that's a pretty good position to be in. So it looks like Feeney's trying to kind of cool it down a little bit and pick something that will guarantee her a win. And that might be really beneficial because fuzziness is getting hung up on these giant wigglers that just seem to have very unruly hitboxes. But the goal is right there, so an easy jump. Nice job, fuzziness. Clearing it up. Five to five. You can tell by Feeney's expression that she disagrees with that off-screen kill from that cannon, as do we all. Oof. Twice now. Oh, Feeny can't seem to catch a break on these levels right now, but she is up by a lot of lives. She does not want a game over, but uh, she's got 14 lives to mess around with and only four minutes to go, so that's a pretty solid position to be in. Plus, these bounce combos might end up help earning her a couple of extra lives, too. Fuzzin is trying to get through this 3D world air style level. Moving a little bit slowly. Probably wants a power up right now. Ah, uh, yes, and employing the classic trick of just going over the on off blocks. Hey, you were supposed, excuse me, Fuzziness, you were supposed to hit the on off blocks and switch the spikes. Okay, you are not playing the level as the developer intended. You may be hearing from Nintendo. <laughs> Oof. Sad skip for Fiend. Something turned off that switch on her. Oh, and a nice clear pipe to the wind for fuzziness. Getting ahead now. Coming back in the last three or four minutes. Fuzziness now up by one. Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. They both have five. But Fuzziness now has six. I cannot keep track of the score. What is the score? What is score? What are we all? Fuzziness with six. Dragonfini with five. As it says, literally right there on the screen. But Feeny's trying to come back right now, and it looks like she might be able to do it. This is a messy level, but she can just get up and stay up. Chances are she'll be able to get her way out of here. Definitely wants to go for that Fire Flower. Ooh. Should have gone for the Fire Flower. She could have damage boosted, but you never know. You never, ever know. Watch to see how many times people in these races make a decision in the moment whether to go for a jump or not go for a jump, take a door or not take a door, like fuzziness in that sad P-Switch door there, uh, and how often those moments of just kind of, what am I trying to say, calculated risk come into play uh, in these races. Feeny now knowing she wants that fire flower, so she's going to try to play real carefully up around these fire bars to pick it off. Oh, but had to get out of there. Mm, fuzziness up by one, but Feeny knows how to get to the end of this. I think it's kind of, I think it's wise for her to stay here when she knows she can grab that fire flower if she needs it, and the goal isn't too far away. Ooh, Feeny trying her hardest here. Finally choosing to skip, yeah. Ooh, fuzziness also, yeah. Ended up losing a lot of time to jank on that level and couldn't couldn't pull it off. There's still time for a short short stupid level to make a decisive change here. If Feeny can get up by one, she can at least force the the overtime match. Feeny playing with a lot of confidence right now, getting that Yoshi out of the box, getting really close to that dry bones. That's a risky move. 
And it looks like she is thinking she wants to blow up a bomb behind that wall. Yep, wall breaks, and she can now move forward to the right. But what's it going to be here? Ditch the Yoshi? Ooh, it is ditch the Yoshi, but she wasn't far enough. 30 seconds to go. She chooses to skip fuzziness, trying to get something here. 40-second parkour. Oh, but it's only 20 seconds to go. Feeny, Feeny needs a short, tiny level. Please don't be 40 seconds. Be 10-second parkour. Very, very close, but it looks like... Oh, I thought that was going to be the end. Oh my gosh. The... Oh. Top 10 things you hate to see. Feeny coming within a couple of seconds. Can we are, are are we gonna are we gonna call that one for fuzziness? We gotta check the tapes. What the heck even happened? Fuzziness takes the game by just a, a, a whisker. Nice work on Feeny getting to the end of that though. That was so close. Oh yeah, they might think they're actually in a. Uh, yeah, I think they thought they were in a tiebreaker, but no, unfortunately. Fortunately, well, fortunately, unfortunately, depending on who you ask. <laughs> All right, so we're getting ready to start match two. Still a chance. Still a chance for someone to come back, come up, make a clutch move. Knees weak, mom's spaghetti, as it were. Yeah, she was very close, but she was decidedly off by two or three seconds. It's a sad, it's, it's, it's a sad buzzer beater, but it's the way it goes. Getting ready for match number two. We all were saying boo earns. Feeney's a good sport, though. And I and I think Feeney, I think this is just going to be motivation for her to play with even more confidence and aggression. So a 28 second level to get Feeney started, and a weird death in the corner. Fuzziness going through a 3D world, a 2D 3D world. <laughs> And Feeny, even though it has the 20-second world record, I think very correctly skipping that. A level will sometimes tell you what it's all about right off the bat. It's like speed dating. And uh, if that level is starting to drop munchers on you and thwomps on you in the first couple of seconds, you can pretty safely say there is going to be a troll here. And what seems like a 20-second easy thing is going to wind up being a forever chamber of death where you never escape. Why is a Feeny to skip it? Fuzziness, meanwhile, has the mushroom and is now ground pounding back down. He needed to go up to get the mushroom and then back down through the bricks to get in the pipe for the clear. Now, Feeny sees the goal. There's a muncher on top of that thwomp. It's going to make it really tricky to try to get up there. Really good positioning. Nice job, Feeny. That's that kind of aggressive gameplay I'm talking about. Feeny did not worry too much about the muncher because if she would have gone too far left, she would have died. But maintaining that rightmost corner of the thwomp, even for a couple of bounces, that was great, great work. One to one. Oof. <laughs> Fussiness thought maybe he could, uh, he could do a little sneaky jump over there. Fortunately for all of you, this one is, in fact, live. We are seeing some top tier Marioing from some top tier Strimsters. Oh, what even happened there for fuzziness? What even happened there? 
Oh, although uh, the title of his level, Hooked on the Brothers, that's a Super Mario Super Show reference. It'd be Hooked on the Brothers. Come on, you guys know that show. Oh, no. <laughs> Fuzzy just getting ejected off those springs to the left. He's trying, yeah, he's trying to get flung to the right there. It can be hard to control that. What in the, what in the heck? I don't, I don't know what, I don't really, I gotta check the clip on that or something. I don't know what even killed Fuzziness there. Did he fall into the spike wall? Did he swing his arms from side to side? Come on, it's time to go do the Mario. I disagree. There's been some disagreeable hitboxes in this race so far tonight, my friends. Oh, Feeny trying to stick with her new soup speed run, but those big triple jumps can really be rough. It was the skull platforms. I thought so, because they pull you to the right. And it can be tough to counteract that momentum, but I didn't actually see it happen. I just saw him fall out of the door and die. <laughs> I thought maybe there was, I don't know, a ghost or something. That's the thing about playing Mario is you can blame it on ghosts. If there's weird things happening, you, oh, there's probably a ghost there. I'm proud of you all showing up to pre-record your chat every week. Uh, that, that really takes a lot of commitment. I think you should give yourselves a round of applause for that. Fuzziness doing some butt sliding right now while Feeny runs in and out of these clouds trying to pick up all of the red coins. Oh no, Feeny, Feeny, no. Ah, the sad death, trying to cross that line of Goombas. It can be strange because the idea there is that you're just gonna get yourself, you're just gonna continually bounce on those enemies. And you see that a lot, uh, Goombas, Piranha Plants, you name it. Uh, you fill in a, a two-tile gap up with those enemies. And then the idea is that you're just gonna be constantly bonking your head. Well, the problem becomes when the way that you enter, because those enemies inside there are actually walking around and if you jump at a weird angle or you're kind of far to the left, you run the risk of not getting the next hit and doing what Feeny did and kind of getting sandwiched in between them for a kill. Clear for fuzziness brings him up to two and one for Feeny right now, looking to get some clutch shell jumps, I'm sure. Nice little on-off switch speed run and a checkpoint. That's some good safety. So that death, even though it's sad, it's not going to cost her too much time. She doesn't have to go all the way back to the beginning. You're always really looking for checkpoints or power-ups in something like this. Even a Yoshi or a, a, a Goomba boot or anything to, even a car, even a freaking car to bring with you uh, to protect yourself from the unknown in these levels. Now this, the level title for Feeny's level says on off switch auto, but uh, I don't see any, I don't see any Ryu cars anywhere. Oh, I'm sorry. Was I supposed to say, where is the Ryu car? And fuzziness. No, I thought he had it. He was out of that room. He kicked the shell into the pow, but the grinders <laughs> came down from the sky like a, a terrible version of Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Uh, this is a rough one for Fuzziness because he's got to go all the way through these three rooms. Can eat up a lot of time here, but that's going to give Feeny a chance to hopefully capitalize on her sick on-off block skills. And wait a minute. <laughs> and wait a minute. Is that... Could that be a dev pipe in our Mario Maker game for the Super Nintendo Switch Entertainment System? A dev pipe. And a rude ending. What are these makers thinking? I'm serious. <laughs> so it looks like Feeny actually does. That's not a dev pipe. She needs to run to the end of that section because it's going to have the correct box open or filled in, rather. Yeah, now you see the red box is filled in. And that was the correct idea with the little ding-dong doorbell just to reinforce that notion. And uh, Feeny getting the clear off of that. Tying it up 2-2. Two to two. Meanwhile, Fuzziness has to skip his crazy chamber of bumpers. The Super Nintendo Switch. You can almost hear that snapping sound.
So Feeny with another Japanese text text exclamation level. And Fuzziness needs to get the secret Yoshi. Oh no, gosh, what is this fuzziness? Magic Koopas on a slow block snake? Oh no. Really nice pipe entry for fuzziness. He managed to dodge all of that Magic Koopa. Magic? Is that what they're shooting at you? What is? What are Magic Koopas shooting? Are they... PlayStation symbols? He managed to dodge all the magic PlayStation symbols. <laughs> getting in that. And Feeny getting in the door as well. Hopefully this will take her to the end. It does! GG! Shapes, ah, of course, yes. Magic shapes. Magic Koopa with the power of the triangles. How would it be if anybody else, if someone actually threatened you with magic triangles, you would, you would laugh, right? We all would. Wait, did Feeny not? Feeny, wait. So, you're telling me that Feeny did not actually clear that level, and I was celebrating for absolutely nothing. Oh, how sad. How sad. Come on, Feeny. Thank you. Yay. GG. That's, I blame the level maker. Well, I saw her get the clear. I saw her touch the pole, and then I looked away to see what fuzziness was doing. And, uh, apparently, I was Feeny didn't get the clear. GG, though. See... You know, wanting wanting to maintain her her top status, of course. Dragon Feeny, three and two against Fuzziness right now, with a ten second speed run. This could put uh, put her in a really good advantage right now. If she can get two levels up in this match, she is uh, pretty happy. Died at the last moment. Who would do such a thing to our Dragon Feeny or any of our friends? I call shenanigans, sir. Ah, uh, yes, Fuzziness with some good cheese right now. It looked like he was supposed to spin jump off those spiny shelmets, but uh, instead he's just decided to pick one up and put it on his head, but it can't save him from a pit. Ooh, cool level for Feeny riding on this... Uh, vine as it's on the track and uh just having to kind of keep up with it oh a really good try to stay alive there as she was falling she started ground pound canceling in the air and if you do that quickly enough you really can maintain a lot of hover uh i don't know if that position would have saved her there but a really good effort and clutch thinking in the moment Fuzzing is finally getting in his pipe to the checkpoint, but without his all-important spiny shelmet. Oh, no problem. He'll get another one. Yeah, a little bit of a dangerous situation for Feeny right now. Four minutes to go and kind of low on lives. She doesn't want to lose her third clear. Meanwhile, Fuzzin is not opting to try to steal the shelmets anymore and is instead just doing what the creator presumably intended. If he does take a spill here, he'll be able to grab one and use it for a damage boost or something. So he's actually in a pretty safe spot right now. Nice job. Nice clear. Fuzzin is tying it up 3-3 three to three as Feeny lobs a couple of fireballs at Meowser's face. All these fiend honks in chat, I'm sure it's making us all think of the truly important question. When is Dragon Feeny going to stream Untitled Goose Game? Oh, no. Feeny, that's so sad. Feeny, ever trusting, ever kind, just believing. Feeny wants to believe in the good in all of us. And it's sad when she gets dumped in a pit, you know? Oh, she did yesterday. Oh, well, I'm I'm behind the times then. Oh, I'm oh, it's well then. I'm I'm far behind the times. I got to catch up with the fiend lore.
Feeney managing to secure the checkpoint though. Fuzzy is trying to work out this slope section. Not a lot of enemies around and kind of a short timer. It doesn't look like a speed run per se, but he doesn't want to slip off the edge or slide into those uh, spikes, spike walls. Sad, um, just sad taking that right, right-handed path. You know, obviously, I mean, you think that's where you want to go. The natural progression being to move to the right. Oh no, looks like Feeny has a, uh, Feeny has a row of, uh, Kaizo blocks here. She's trying to avoid. Although it's a really good trick, she's rolling underneath. Um, to try to not hit a few of those in the line. I don't think she'll be able to get up onto the the ceiling that she's creating, but just the fact that she can kind of stand there. I wonder if you could, actually. There might. Oh, there is a way through. It's on the very extreme side. So Beanie can probably guess the pattern here by now. Fuzziness going for a big YOLO bullet bill jump. Oh, my word. Oh, he gets it. That was awesome. Really clutch reaction for Fuzziness there. He didn't know where he was going to land, but he landed right on the edge of that conveyor, and it was going to push him forward into the spikes, but he, he reacted quick and got the jump. Nice job. Four to three, but Dragon Feeney answering right back, keeping it tied. What a good race. This is this is e this is uh really, really close. All tied up now. One minute to go. Four to four. Feeney's got to be careful about those lives, though. She earned a couple back in the previous level, but... Five lives can slip away. Fuzziness two with only four. So uh I don't know. With with 40 uh 40 seconds to go, it is in these players' best interest to just not game over. Don't want to lose one of those hard-earned clears. Or if you're Dragon Feeny, just run like a crazy person and take it right to the end with a fast cat bullet level and bump your score up by one in the final couple of seconds. Now, we got to see if Fuzziness can answer back here. He's got the key, and he's got 19 seconds. This could happen. This could happen. Does he go in the door? Not a lot of time to think. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's rough. The key door is all the way down there. That would take a huge bomb excavation. Sad day. And Dragon Feeny is going to come out on top. Our winner. Really, really close match, though. Incredibly clutch plays from both. Feeny taking game two as we get ready for game three. That bomb excavation. Oh, gosh. You know, I and, and, I'm, and I'm sorry, you know, even, even, even I... Your humble narrator and friend, I one of my first Mario Maker 1 levels was a bomb excavation. And gosh, I thought I was so clever. Oh, he'll have to get a bunch of bombs and throw them into the bricks. Yeah, that'll be so fun. Yeah. It wasn't. I'm sorry. We're all sorry. <laughs> so get some GGs in the chat for everybody. And we are ready to start match number three. The countdown has begun. That does sound just like me. That's exactly what I would. <laughs> That's exactly something I would say. So Kirby's Adventure 1-1. And Feeny with a poison, poison mushroom level. Quickly skipped. Feeny taking her time here, thinking about what these thwomps have to offer in terms of spin jumping possibilities. Oh, good reaction, avoiding them on the springs. Really tricky here because she doesn't know which direction the thwomps are going to be moving in. So it, she might think it's a vertical one, and then it goes to the to the right or to the left. Fuzziness now entering hard course 1-1, the classic. Ah, yes, hard course 1-1. Where pick a pipes and spinies from the sky abound. But Fuzziness with the cosmic brain, he gets the cat and is just gonna skip picking all of this. 
And in something like this, again, you really just try to stay up. That is the general strategy here. Try to get above everything. And Feeny now watching out for those thwomps. Sees the goal. She got it. GG. I'm not entirely sure how that thwomp killed the other thwomp. There may have been a pow block in there. Uh, or something stacked up on top of the thwomp. Uh, like a pow stack that would kill the other one. So Feeny up with a quick win. 1-0. One 1-0. Oh. One, one to oh. One to zero. Fuzziness with a key now, but what in the world is he going to do with it? Oh no. A car hit him. <laughs> oh. F in chat. Yeah, that one, that one, that one's got to hurt. He had the key and everything. Uh. Oh, and he sees the door up there, but his old friend, the car, <laughs> the Koopa Motorist, back again for revenge. Oh, and that's a clear for fuzziness. Nice job. One to one. As Feeny tries to ascend her way. Uh, up this little little pit filled with water. This is actually kind of a helpful thing. Um, you know, the level fills with water. It's not so bad. At least it's not lava. Fuzziness about to check out the return of the munchers in the sky. I, I just, I, I got, I love some of these level level titles that are just either silly or kind of kind of vague or mysterious. They're always so funny to me. So, yeah, Fuzziness wants to get the POW blocks and use them to knock the munchers off the blue falling platforms. He's got to kind of throw, run and throw and jump in, in the same motion. Ooh. Yeah, uh, hitting the POW block from below like Fuzziness just did there will only kill uh, the bottom muncher of any stack, but throwing it and hitting them both will destroy the whole stack. That was also a thing from Mario Maker 1. So he just wants to be careful, yeah, that he actually contacts the stack of munchers with the pow he's throwing. Unfortunately, skipping that. Oh no, Feeny really wants to watch out for that Fugu. Yeah, nice, nice job swiping, <laughs> swiping right on the or swiping left on that Fugu. And getting the clear. Two wins for Dragon Feeny, one win for Fuzziness. Ten and a half minutes to go. Oh boy, Fuzziness with Nat Attack SMM1 Remake. Does anyone remember Nat Attack? Originally, it was a mini game in Mario Paint. And uh, then they had it. They had a version of it again in Mario Maker One, and then it never ever came back. So a lot of skips right now. Both these players trying to find something they can work with. Hmm. So what to do here for Feeny? Oh, go right to the goal. I was sh I was certain that uh, those arrows were not going to be helpful. Feeny, ever trusting, rewarded for it. Feeny up three wins to one right now. <laughs> Fuzziness, <laughs> doing a little celebra celebration dance. Oh, it, um, is it an auto? Is this an auto level? Nope, he's got to throw that pow. Yep. Hmm. 
Now some tricky jumps for fuzziness, but I think he's close to the goal. In the pipe. Yep, he's got it. Two to three. Feeny with the cat clear condition. Trying to decide what to do. Okay, big risk for Feeny. Wow, but she saved it. She tried, she wanted to get up that wall because maybe she could just skip this ride. This Charvar here is uh, pretty unpredictable, kind of moves around in weird ways. She bailed off the wall and then ground pounded to save herself and got back on. That was a really clutch save. Especially considering she can't take any damage right now because if she does, she'll lose her clear condition. Oh no, now what? Fuzzing is still trying to get something, something amicable. <laughs> nice job, Feeny. Getting the clear. Four to two right now. Fuzzing is trying to get through this on off switch level. That was a great save. That, that save, uh, that save on the Charvar made all the difference. So Fuzzin is trying to get the timing of these on-off blocks. Looks like he's got it. If he can just get through, he does. Keeping the uh, keeping the gap pretty tight. Three to four. Plenty of time for Fuzziness to catch up. But if Feeny, oh, you know Feeny wants a rebate for that other on-off switch level she had to play. And she gets it. There it is. The redemption. Five to three right now. Feeny keeping that two-level lead. Now also, Fuzziness, if you look, he is at six lives right now. And I think he was maybe trying to make a play for some of those coins at the beginning of the level. Uh, he would do very well to get a couple of extra lives because he's still got six minutes to go and he's burning up lives pretty quickly. So uh, I don't know, is he gonna be thinking about maybe trying to pick up some extra coins or bounce on some extra enemies or something. He has got to be careful. He does not want to lose one of his three hard-earned clears. Yeah, Fe Feeny and Fuzzin is both such such expressive players. You know, it's 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 like it's like watching a Charlie Chaplin movie. You don't even need to hear them say anything to know what they're feeling. Now there is a lot of uh, maybe some potential cheese in Feeny's level here as these blocks and coins switch around. You might be able to just wait somewhere. Uh, we saw Beast cheese a level like that in a previous match. Feeny hesitantly going for the P door. Gets her a P switch and a superstar, but what's she gonna do with that? Ooh, yeah, Feeny wants to bring a switch with her, maybe? And try to get up on top. Meanwhile, Fuzziness with the clear and the world record bringing him up to five. I'm sorry, four, rather. And Feeny with another clear on her level getting up to six. Oh, no, a dark level? Ooh, yeah, I thought Fuzziness was going to go for that for a second, but... Uh, That'd be brave. I think dark levels are like universally skipped in these matches. I can't think of a single clear I've seen on a dark level. Ooh, Feeny bravely going for this weird on off switch speed run and fuzziness maybe thinking about some cheese in this messy 3D world level. Now, do you trust the pipe or do you try to get up on top of the thwomps? Looks like fuzziness is going for the thwomps. 
good moves to get up there. That might end up paying out for him, but it looks like the maker actually anticipated that and put icicles up there. <laughs> Anyhow, the pipe takes you to the same spot. Feeny trying for a new level. Has to get rid of some of these fish bones. This one might hold her up a little bit. The fish bones are odd to kill. Huh, P switches and keys everywhere for fuzziness, but the goal right now is not in sight. Fuzziness, where are we going? Boy, this level is really confusing for fuzziness right now. Yeah, unfortunate skip. It, you know he wanted that because it wasn't that dangerous. But, yeah, he had... I don't think anybody had any idea where, where we were going on that one. Fuzziness skipping a tech level where he could have had the opportunity to learn some crate drops, but I feel he probably already knows that. Five lives still. He's got to be careful. Yeah, I would skip a lava level too if I were him in his position. He really wants to try to avoid levels with guaranteed instant kills, like a lava pit or a big pit of air or something. Uh, if he wants to try to conserve his lives, he, he would do well to favor levels that have sort of a backup plan. Oh, what was that? It looked like you needed to keep the boot. Fuzziness bailing out of the boot. There was probably some kind of silly tech where you can jump and keep the boot. I don't even know what that tech was, but uh, there's probably something there. He needed the boot to not die. If that would have been multiplayer, though, he would have gotten free iframes out of the pipe and just lived. Live! Please live! So Feeny playing a level called Mario 2. <laughs> Don't know what that is. That Mario 2.0, Mario 2, which one? US, Japanese, who knows? Oh man, Feeny dodging the lava. Probably wondering to herself right now, does she need the red coin? All right, dude. Oh, Feeny. Do you trust that? Oh, Feeny. <laughs> so kind and trusting. Trusting that P door. Oh. Oh. Uh, I bl I want, uh, again, I blame the level designer. <laughs> Still, though, Feeny in a really good position right now with only 22 seconds left. Fuzziness really wants to get this clear at the end. What's he going to do? He's running fast. Oh, can Fuzziness get one more out of this door with the final five seconds? The ground pound for victory and the buzzy, the buzzy, the buzzer beater, the buzzer beater for Fuzziness. Getting that fifth win right at the end, but it's not enough. Dragon Feeny with the six, taking the win on game three. Well, that was an excellent match. Really, really close competition from both racers and some really fun commitments to certain levels that winded up either kind of paying off or not paying off. Interesting strategic decisions all around. An excellent race. GG, Dragon Feeny and Fuzziness. We will be back in a just a short while with, I believe, the final match of the night. And I don't know who it is, so it's going to be a surprise. Oh, we can uh, have a little bit of time for a little interview. Dragon Feeny, hi, how are you? Hello. Good, how are you? Again, I am well, thank you. Fuzziness, hello there, how are you? Yo. Yo. There's some pretty funny levels. <laughs> yeah, how did how did that go? How are, uh, how are you feeling? Because I know you both played matches earlier. Do you think that factored in at all? Kind of being warmed up, having done it a little bit before, or...? 
RNG. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I got. I feel like I got similar levels this time than I did in the previous race. What do you mean? Yeah, I saw you. You both kind of committed to some things, um, and and it kind of wound up kind of not paying off. That um, I was curious about that one level that you had, Feeny, with the uh, the coins that you had to collect, and you got to the end, and there was one coin. What was what was going through your mind with that? What was that decision? One coin. Um. Oh, I didn't want to go collect the coins again. I was one off, and it it was the coin block. Uh, I messed up collecting the coin block. So so you knew you missed something in that situation. Yeah, I knew uh, I knew which one it was. I knew where it was, and I was like, I don't want to do this again. Uh, okay, I didn't see if you had <laughs> missed something or not, but um, yeah, I was wondering if maybe it was just hiding out somewhere. No, it was it was the one coin block. Uh, Fuzziness, uh, Fuzzy. your 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 thoughts on on these matters. Uh, the only thing that bothered me during my one this time was there was this one level where you have to find the cat suit, and it was like million doors and blocks, and none none of them gave me the cat suit, and he kept sending me in a circle like three times, and I was getting frustrated. That was like the worst one by far today. That was horrible. That level made it had all these arrows telling you what to do, and none of them worked. Yeah. Do you I try to mess around with those ones? <laughs> Do you sort of try to trust things like that? Like, like you, you seem like you were kind of trying to commit to levels like that. Do, is that kind of part of your strategy, or...? Like, that level had nothing that killed me, so I was like, okay, it can't be too bad, right? But then it just kept sending me everywhere, which is, like, another scenario which doesn't happen too often. Because it, it didn't seem like a troll level, but it became a troll level. Yeah. It was like, I couldn't tell. It was just, the level seemed friendly until I did it. Yeah, yeah, you're always making those those second to second decisions. Dude, I was shouting the car, the car. <laughs> God, God, the, the hit by the that was sad. I I felt I felt that one. <laughs> it was hilarious. Oh man, but yeah, GG's. It's fine. I mean, you play this game way more than me, so I don't deserve to win. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Yeah. Because I play more doesn't mean I play well all the time. What do you both main when you do play the game? What what's your what do you stick on? Do you do like endless or versus? I know Feeny, you do a lot of endless. I do a lot of endless, yeah. I do expert no skips only. Expert no skip, okay. Yeah, it's no curious. It's kind of interesting like, to see how different racers. I'm sorry. What was that? I think no skips is good because you can just do any level that comes up. Mhm. Mm do you like... think that gives you an advantage with um? committing to some of the harder levels you know you you you've gone to commit to that like do you think that playing no skip kind of helps you in that you read levels a lot better for sure like you see like an idea of a level and you can just pick it up right away because you've done so many levels so you see patterns and like there was that one level i was like how do you do it so short and i like jumped on top of the level and used the bullet bill and i was like they had to do that because there's no way the level could be completed in like 20 seconds right yeah. So just understanding the level layouts and stuff, and that just comes from playing lots of levels rather than just being good at the game. Yeah, yeah, having that ability to read, kind of get inside the maker's head a little bit and figure yeah. out where they were going. Because you have a time on the screen, like the uh, end time of the levels, uh, you can tell exactly what strategy they use to complete the level if you just understand the map, which is like so important. Yeah. Well, good job, both of you. Um... Do you have any have any other thoughts? I'm I'm trying to think of some other questions here. Uh, uh, what's your favorite color? What was your <laughs> What was your most funny level, by the way? What happened for you? <laughs> My most funny level. Um, I had one. I don't remember if it was like in these this set of races or the previous ones because they're all kind of like meshed together. But I had one that was like a windy level, and I cheesed it by just triple jumping to the end. Oh, I saw that, that was one. the whole you level. Had like a one minute world wreck and you beat it in ten seconds. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was a really well placed triple jump. Thank you. I wasn't sure if I was gonna get it. Did though. GG. Thank you. Yeah, did you know it's like nearly six o'clock in the morning for me? Oh, I did. Man. You should probably sleep. Yeah, get That's some sleep. Thank you so much for racing with us. Great job. Hope Good to job. see you around Twitch. All right, catch you later, guys. Have a good night. Right. Good night.